testing, testing, one, two, three. Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Ozzy and I'm back again with another video for you guys. And today we got some exciting news. Nintendo actually just announced maybe a week ago, they're actually uh, announced two days ago at the time of this recording of a new Switch model. And now they got two Switch models now that are coming out, uh, as well as some, uh, some new Joy-Con or Joy-Con colors. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about that in this video. But before, cue the intro. Yeah. Do 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 do. Ozzy's tech and stuff. Yeah. All right, guys. So like I said, Nintendo did announce a new Switch model. They're calling it the Nintendo Switch Lite. This thing is a portable only Switch. It's a little bit smaller, and uh, they're giving us a little bit more battery life. But uh, I'll go ahead and uh, show some B-roll on the screen there, and I got my uh, my iPad here to read you off some of the, the specs on this thing, but first of all, it's going to come in three colors. It's going to come in a turquoise color, a gray, and a yellow. Now, that's a lot uh, better than what we currently have right now on the Switch, which is just the regular black color, and you can get the Joy-Cons different colors. So this will lead to more and more special editions uh different types of colors i've seen some mock-ups of like some pokemon ones or something like that but speaking of pokemon they're actually releasing a uh switch edition um actually a pokemon edition uh nintendo switch Lite, which uh, i'll throw up in the screen right now and it's actually pretty cool looking one side of the uh, the left side of the joy cons that do not remove by the way is a blue and the other side is like a red and then behind it they have the two legendary pokemons that will be in the new pokemon game uh behind the switch there so that actually will be releasing on november 8th and the regular switch light model will be releasing on september 20th so if you're planning to get one of these go ahead and uh i don't know if the um the preserves or reserves are, are open right now, but if it is, go ahead and uh, place your, your order in because uh, if you think that you're going to primarily be using this uh, as a handheld, then I think that you should probably go ahead and pre-order this because they might be sold out. Who knows? All right, so let's get into some specs of these things, all right? So, all right, guys, so the Nintendo Switch Lite will be included with a 32 gigabyte internal uh, hard drive or flash drive, whatever you want to call it. And it will have a micro SD slot to uh, increase the storage in the system. Now, this thing doesn't come with a kickstand, so I don't know yet where the micro SD slot is going to go. It's probably be under the switch or something like that, but it won't be behind the, the kickstand like the regular switch has right now. Now, this thing does have all the same Wi-Fi and Bluetooth uh, and USB Type-C uh, components and it actually shrinks the size down of the screen. Uh, the new Switch Lite will have a 5.5 inch screen at uh, 1280 by 720 resolution, and it is an LCD screen. So the same, basically the same screen, just shrunk down a little bit, and depending on how you look at it, the, that might increase the, the graphics of a game because uh, at 720, a bigger screen, you will see a little bit more pixels. But if the screen shrinks down a little bit, and it is in the 5.5 inch screen, then you have a harder time seeing the pixels of each um, you know, animation or whatever it is on the screen. So it might help with clarifying a little bit how the screen looks, And but I have no complaints on how the screen looks right now. So there you go, it will have stereo speakers as well. Now, I did mention before the Joy-Cons are non-removable, so this primarily will be a handheld gaming device so just think of it as like a, the new 3ds now it is the new switch Lite. so you won't be able to dock it on a tv you won't be able to um remove the joy cons you will be able to pair a pro controller to it but it doesn't come with the kickstand so you'll have to prop it up some other way so i'm not sure why nintendo did not include the kickstand uh, you know i don't i don't know if <laughs> if it was a cost saving or whatever, but it could have been a cool, a cool little feature that they added. It just in case somebody wants to connect the a pro controller to it, they can use it that way. Uh, this thing does not come with HD Rumble and the Joy Cons that do not 
uh, detached don't have the IR blaster as well. So you will still be able to use Amiibo. This does have NFC and you will be able to uh, pair your Amiibos that way in the same location on the right joystick. So that's pretty cool. Now Nintendo is saying that you will be able to get about half an hour to an hour more battery life on this. Uh, yeah, I think it's due to the, the new chipset that it has or less power hungry chipset. But any, any amount of more hours gaming on it is a welcome and uh, stay tuned for that because I got uh, uh, some news about that as well. So Nintendo did say that this will come out on September 20th and it will uh, cost $199 uh, US which will um, roughly <laughs> around $200 and uh, for the $100 less uh, you're getting actually something that um, is a lot more portable. It's a lot smaller, but you're sacrificing a little bit because it can't be docked on a TV. You can't remove the Joy-Cons. It's basically just strictly a handheld system, which to me defeats the purpose of the Switch. I love the Switch because it's so versatile. Uh, I can take it to a buddy's house or to a game night, plug it into the TV, uh, load up Smash Brothers, or I can load up you know some party games like uh the jackbox games those uh that you can control with your cell phone and even if you're not a gamer you can just get into those and play those so with this one you won't be able to do it uh as well because you won't be able to dock it on a tv so about five or six people hunched over a little 5.5 inch screen that's probably not ideal but hey for a hundred dollars cheaper if you see yourself only gaming on the switch as a handheld this might be something you might want to look at. If you already have a Switch, I don't see the reason why you would upgrade to this to make this a primary. If you want to have like a two Switches and take one with you on vacation or to work or to school, whatever the case may be, then you will be able to do it with this one. But I'm not upgrading. I'm sticking, I'm sticking with my original Switch and uh, and until they come out with a Switch Pro. All right, so Nintendo did just announce that uh, they're releasing two new Joy-Con colors. Uh, you'll be able to pair them up. Those colors are blue, neon yellow, while the second set is purple and neon orange. So they're giving us a little bit more colors to play with our Joy-Cons and that's pretty cool. Um, I'm not a huge fan of them. I really like the blue and the red launch edition ones that I still have right now. Uh, but I'm still looking to see if the another Joy-Con colors can catch my eye. I really want to see some special edition ones come out. A lot more of that stuff. But, you know, to each his own, you might like these colors. You might, you might pick them up. Both of these will retail at $79.99 US and will be released on October 4th. So, uh, if again, if the pre-orders pre are up and you really want one of these colors, go ahead and... Uh, Put your pre-order in. All right, guys, and in the last bit of news, Nintendo did announce finally a new Switch Pro model. It's gonna be an 8K screen, 500 teraflops of storage. No, I'm just kidding. It's a upgraded battery. That's about it. So it is a regular Switch with about two hours more of battery, which depending on how you game, that might be significant enough for you to upgrade. Uh, to me, I don't I don't game more than two hours at a time. I, I'm usually just a gamer at like an hour on the Switch and then take a break and then maybe another hour later on. So I will not be upgrading, but uh, this new model is only two hours more, which kind of brings it up to around four and a half to nine hours versus the, uh, the old Switch model, which is about two and a half to six and a half hours. So it is significant. I don't know if it's a big deal to upgrade. That all depends on you. So it's the same hardware, the same screen, everything, just the upgraded battery. So that is when Nintendo went ahead and uh, announced the, this past week uh, in, in their Switch family. And it's pretty cool. Hopefully we get a, a Switch Pro model announced fairly soon. Uh, and it gives us what we were looking for in a Switch as far as like a 1080 uh P screen, bigger battery, as well as a, uh, a better processor. So that's all the news we got. Um, well, that's all the news I got for you uh, this week uh, as far as tech and gaming. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching, guys. If you found this video helpful, if you liked it, help me out with a like and uh, subscribe. And um, just thank you for watching, guys. Until the next one, peace.